welcome back to another weekly video. Hey, it is JD here, and I'm so excited to see you guys. Okay, so we are still in the month of February, and our question of the month is, who does Jesus love? And can you remind me who Jesus loves? Who does Jesus love? Jesus loves everyone. Good job, guys. For today, we're going to do a cool little activity. It's going to require you to stand up and sit down. So if I were you, I would find a couch or a chair or something to sit on. All right? I have this page. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to list out some choices that we make in life. And I want you to tell me whether it's a good choice or a bad choice. If it's a good choice, you're going to stand up. All right? And if it's a bad choice, you going to sit down, okay? Are you ready? Here we go. First choice. Hmm. So you listen to what your mom tells you to do. Is that a good choice or a bad choice? You listen to your mom and what she tells you to do. Could stand up because that's a good choice. Awesome job, guys. All right. All right. The next one. Hmm, you said some unkind words, some not nice words. Is that a good choice or a bad choice? Yeah, we're gonna sit down because we always want to say loving words and good words and kind words. All right, good job, everybody. All right, let's see. Mm, you let your friends go first. So let's say you're in line to do something and your friend wants to play too and you let your friend go first. Is that a good choice or a bad choice? That's a good choice. Good job. Hmm. Um, how about you call your grandma? Is that a good choice or a bad choice? Good choice. Good job, guys. Calling your grandmother is a good choice. All right, let's think. Hmm. You pushed your brother down and made him fall. Is that a good choice or a bad choice? Yeah, I'm going to sit down because we don't want to be unkind to our brother. We don't want to push them or hurt them in any kind of way. And so that's a bad choice. All right, let's do one more. Hmm. How about you take a toy from your friend? Hmm. Is that a good choice or a bad choice? If your friend is playing with the toy and you just take it away from them, is that a good choice or a bad choice? That's a bad choice. So we're going to stay seated. All right, guys. So thank you so much for doing this with me today. And I'm so excited that you guys are learning and knowing what good choices and bad choices are. And we really want to do things that Jesus wants us to do. And Jesus wants us to love everyone, okay? And the way we love everyone is by making these good choices. All right? I will see you guys later. And I'll bye!
Are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I think Zoe dropped the cupcakes and now they're almost up. I see that you're mad. It's true. But Jesus can help you know what to do. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ooh, ooh. Follow me through. Follow me through. And this is my best dog, Stormy Jane, and her friend, Barkley. They were just having the best time playing tug of war, weren't you guys? <laughs> they love each other very much. Hey, that reminds me of a story. We've been learning that Jesus loves everyone, but there was once a man who wasn't sure if Jesus loved him. This true story from the Bible begins with a man named Zacchaeus. That's a fun name to say. Can you say that with me? Zacchaeus. One more time. Zacchaeus. Good job. Zacchaeus was a tax collector. His job was to collect money from everyone in town. Let's count with Zacchaeus. Each person owes one coin. Ready? One, two, three. Great. Wait, what is Zacchaeus doing? He's going back for more money? That's not right. Those people already paid. But that's what Zacchaeus did. He took more money than he was supposed to, and he kept it for himself. It was wrong, and it made everyone mad at Zacchaeus. But one day, something wonderful happened. Jesus came to town. Everyone was so excited to see him. Zacchaeus was excited too, so he went to see Jesus. But. There was one problem. Zacchaeus was too short to see Jesus over all the people. Maybe Zacchaeus could jump and see Jesus. Let's tell Zacchaeus to jump. Are you ready? Jump, 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 jump. Hmm, that's not working. Only there was something Zacchaeus could climb to see over all the people. Oh, 
a tree. Yes, Zacchaeus could climb the tree. Let's cheer him on, ready? Climb, 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 climb. Now Zacchaeus could see Jesus and Jesus could see Zacchaeus. Jesus said, Zacchaeus, come down right away. I want to go to your house today. All the people thought, why would Jesus want to go with him? He has made so many bad choices. But do you think there is anything we can do to make Jesus stop loving us? No, even if we get put in time out, does Jesus still love us? Yes, Jesus loves us no matter what. And Jesus loves Zacchaeus even though he had made bad choices. Zacchaeus was so happy that Jesus loved him and was his friend that he gave back all the money he took from the people. <laughs> wow, Jesus loves Zacchaeus and Jesus loves you too. Jesus loves everyone. <laughs> Let's celebrate because Jesus loves everyone. <laughs> oh, hey, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who does Jesus love? Jesus loves everyone. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who does Jesus love? Jesus loves everyone. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story. And it's all true. Zacchaeus did something wrong. But Jesus loved him and loves me and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ooh, ooh. Wow. Jesus loved Zacchaeus even though he made bad choices. Jesus loves everyone. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Zoe's my friend, and even though she messed up the cupcakes, I know Jesus still loves her, and I love her too. You know, I think I can fix these. Oh, you put the frosting back on. Yes! I'll see you guys next time. Everything in love. 1 Corinthians 16, 14. Do everything in love. 1 Corinthians 16, 14.